Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Tanya, episode 39. So in the last episode, we worked on getting more lava to hopefully stabilize our power situation. Unfortunately, we ran out of coal. We have completely turned it into refined fuel. Now that's great, but uh, at our current power usage, that's going to last about two hours. Because we now need so much power, we need all of these generators running all the time. So without a constant supply of fuel, which we don't have, we don't have enough refined fuel, we don't have enough tree oil either, we're not getting enough of that. So we don't have enough resin to make tree oil either, so we're just not getting enough of that. So um, we're going to have to expand our magmatic dynamos. So we're going to need to get, uh, we're going to need to move these around a little bit. So let's see if we can do... Let's see if we can do two more magmatic dynamos. And then we'll need to make some cables to transfer the power. And we can't use the leadstone conduits that we had because they won't transfer enough stuff. So they only do 800 or 1,000 RPM. I can't remember which one. I think it's 1,000. They've changed it several times over the years, so I can't remember. Uh, let's see here. So let's see what other kinds of flux ducts we have. Okay, the next step up is, yeah, that's 1,000. This is 4,000. Harden should be good enough. So we can take a leadstone flux duct and add some Invar nuggets to get those guys. So we can convert them. Good, I want to do that. Um, uh, let's see, let's just, let's just do this. There we go. So we now have 12 hardened flux ducts. That should be enough for now. So what we need to do is we'll need some XNet cable. I wonder if I show this off. Apparently, uh, Tiny Progressions adds cooked apples. Wish I'd done that earlier. I wouldn't have wasted all my apples just eating them. I would have cooked them because they're like more than twice as good as regular apples. You get twice the number of meat pops and, and way more saturation. So. That would have been a better, much better uh, food source. Oh well, we are where we are. Uh, we need some of this network cable. And let's see here. I'm going to flip this guy off because he is most of our power usage and we're just using too much power right now. So let's see here. These guys are going to lose their fuel when that happens. So I want to... I want to turn off some of the things. Let's see here. You are the items channel. You are the water channel. You are. You are. You used to be the lava channel. You are actually not the lava channel anymore. I fixed that. You are nothing now. So we've got three open channels now. I put all the fluids other than water on one channel, and I put uh, all the items on one channel. So I. Combine that a little bit, so there are now filters on the the pulverizers. But actually, it worked out pretty well. I, I was afraid I wouldn't have enough space on that main pole on the main pulverizer, but uh, no, it's uh, it's okay actually. So if I use or dictionary, uh, these things and the chunks from Ex Nihilo Creatio, uh, or dictionary with these guys, and it all works out. I did have to add one for each one, otherwise it wouldn't get ore dictionary. So, I had to get one of each ore, but everything else is working out, so that's doing pretty well. So, let's see here. Let's turn off liquids to you guys. Um, actually, yeah, your tree oil and your refined fuel. Just gonna turn this channel off entirely. And then we're going to need something to empty those guys because we cannot afford to waste the fuel that's in here. That is just not an option. So let's get some tanks. Some portable tanks. We've got a couple. That might be enough, actually. Let's see here, would that be enough? And I should probably save the lava too. Let me get the let me get one more tank. Let me get one of these guys. Uh, 
Why can't I do the recipe for this guy? That was weird. Alright, there we go. Get me one more of these guys. And let's go take the fuel out, because we cannot afford to lose it. So, I'm going to take all of you. Going to take all of you. And we're going to take all of you. And all of you. Okay, there we go. There is all the fuel. So, we've got a full energy cell right now. So, you know, not doing too bad. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is move all of these things down a little bit. I didn't turn the system back off. I really ought to do that. Hey, are you getting more resin? Oh good, you're finally filling up with resin again. Oh, it's a little bit... Oh. <laughs> of course he is. It's going in the system. Is it? No, I didn't put resin. I don't want to put tree oil in there. Alright, well, good. Then that's that's what I want to, to see happen. Alright, so we're going to break this guy. We're going to break this guy. And we're going to break those connectors, too. So we're going to break that guy. And that guy. And that guy. And the rest of them we're not going to break, because... Alright, we only had two... Actually, we were piggybacking on some of the other ones. So, let's do this. I want some of this network cable. Alright, there we go. We've got network cable now. So, is that where I want it? Actually, I'd rather have it one back, I think. Yeah, that just works out a little bit better. Alright, so... We need to have this energy cell. What do you think? Maybe right here? Maybe, oh, I guess it'll have to be right here, won't it? Okay, because we're going to need a connector here. All right, let's empty you out. We're going to put one of the connectors right here. And then, yeah, you are going to be an output and hopefully I can go fix that before you're out of power over here so one is the power channel and there is no longer an extract on this guy now you need to be an extract so there we go that is the extract and now you've got power so everyone should have power again okay and now what we want is to get power into this system. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to run these conduits over here. And we're just going to go, we've got, what, six generators right now? So we're going to place them all over here. We'll start with our compression dynamo. Which one are you? You are the tree oil guy. Wow, it's got a lot of energy right now. That has to be... No, that guy could be real. Okay. But that was a bug for a minute. That, that's real. All right, your compression dynamo, you are the refined fuel guy. I know, because you've got the, the ignition plugs. All right, so magmatic, 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 and magmatic. So, okay, we didn't get the upgrades for that. We need him to be an output in the front for the flux plug. Uh... I don't want you to connect, though. Hmm. I guess... Let's see. What are our options? I 
I guess the best option would be to move this guy to have more sides. We probably want more sides than him anyway. We might want to do more than one. I don't want more than one of these guys. You know what? He won't get power from this guy anyway. It's only going to go out through this toil. I will live with uh, the look. Okay, so... Alright, so you are a flux plug. You're still right. I think that's all good. So if uh, this guy is running, and I turn him on, yep, he stays running, so there we go. Okay. Don't want to use the power right now, though. I don't understand why they keep their energy buffer but lose their, their fluid buffers. It should really be, you know, both. That's what it should be. All right, so we need to run the cable over one more. And then we need to run connectors to these guys to fill them with good things. And I'm now out of connectors, so we're going to need to do more of that. So I need, what, five more of those guys, I think? Okay. There we go. All right. And there we are. Here are all of our things again. So two of you aren't upgrade. Let's go fix that too. We're going to want uh, transmission coils and upgrade kits, conversion kits. We're going to need one, two of those guys. And we're going to need two, three, four of these guys. All right. Uh, convert those. Okay. So, can we put the stuff right back in them? What are you a tank of? You are tree oil. Yes, we can. Cool. Alright, that was all the lava. That's fine, though. Alright, you are now draining. I, I think. Yep, we are losing power because you two are not on. The only ones that are on are, are these guys so they don't require water. So let's go fix the XNet system. Alright, so... Which kind are you? You are the compression dynamos. You need water. Okay. And then the... Magmatics are going to need lava, so I need a bucket of lava to filter those guys. I need all my buckets to filter things. So I think I use a bucket of lava for something. I forget what. Don't need blazing pyrothium bottle. I need a refined fuel and a tree oil bucket, and we can just get a bucket of lava like that. Oh, no, I need to be at the XNet place. That's where we need to be. Okay, so... Here we are on the alternate fluids channels. So... You... I hope... Are the tree oil guy. And you... I hope are the refined fuel guy. And then the rest of these are all lava. Two, three, four. I don't know why I thought that was wrong. 
Okay, let's turn channel 8 back on. Channel 3 was already on, right? Yeah, water was already on. Okay, you guys have water. You're gaining stuff. And both your tanks are full. They wouldn't have been full a minute ago. So, yeah, those are right. Lava, lava, lava. Yeah. Plenty of lava now. So, how are these guys doing? Yep. I wonder how we set the extract of the flu. Like, we turned it to, like, one bucket, or... He took a, an odd amount of time to to keep going. That was weird. All right. So that's pretty good, at least. So you can see the refined fuel gets 400 RF per tick. So that's pretty nice. We might consider augmenting this guy one more time. We might consider taking him all to Signalum tier. And we could use um, a fuel efficiency thing. Not for the lava ones, but for the rest of them. Okay, you must be full again. So now we should be able to flip things back on, I think. Okay, you are on. You're using, what, 508 RF per tick? Yep. And then I flipped this guy off. I want him on, though. He's my one guy doing that stuff right now. I don't need dust or compressed sand, I don't think. I did use some blaze powder though, so maybe I do need that. Let's see here, how much blaze powder do we have? What does that say, 38? That's less than I would hope for. Um, hmm. Let's flip him on too. Got more power now, right? Okay, this guy is off because you had no gravel, right? Yeah. Uh, I put these guys, I made them faster too. But I'm afraid to make them too fast. We just don't have to have the power to, to do that right now. So we really need to get, uh, I, I don't even know, coal? Lava? Just get like tons of lava? Just like, I don't know. Okay. You are empty, but you are going to be empty for quite a while because you have to generate 4,000 buckets and dump it in the system. That's okay, though. Should have enough to do everything else we want. So we are at 655. Not bad. And even though all those magmatic dynamos are running, we are going up in lava still. So that suggests we could support even more magmatic dynamos if, oh, well, we're basically done, I guess, for right now. I wonder if they take from closer sources first. Yeah. Whatever it is, what it is. So, yeah. Okay. So, we really need to do something about the mana generation. So, we're not getting any coal. We don't have a bunch of charcoal. The tree farm isn't fast enough to get us enough charcoal for it to be make a difference. So, what do we actually have in oak wood, by the way? What is that? Five stacks, roughly? You know, we've got plenty of oak wood planks, and it's nice that we can afford to do those things, but it could be better. We could be better. I guess we could do the force relay thing and more agricarnations and make this better. I might do that. I might uh, change this up with force relays. But not right now. Right now, uh, we've got to get our ore guy going back. And... Um, I don't think lava power is going to do it. Um, running this guy one time was enough to get about two stacks of stone. Uh, dumping, filling this diluted mana pool gave us, I want to say close to a stack, not, not an entire stack, but close to a stack. So 
I did change the design here slightly when I rebuilt it. Um, I've got this mana pool, it's diluted mana pool. It's got a spark with a recessive augment in it, so any mana that comes in here, as I told from the weight lens, just gets dumped back into this pool, which also has a spark, but you can't see it because it's being blocked by the mana pool thing. So, yeah. And the timer is now on five seconds, which it would be using gravity if we could do that, but we can't right now. So, yeah. So, that's pretty good. Okay, so... What are we going to do about getting more mana? I guess we need to look into maybe the Entropinium. Is that the next stage of mana generation? Uh, where's my Batana? My Lexica. What do we have for generating Thora? So, look, we can get a Dandy Lifeian. Wow. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm doing that. That's just, that's just crazy. Uh, we don't have enough resources to make cake. That's for Elise. What's Nars Slimus? Huh. How interesting. Not really something we're going to work on, though. The Reflauza. What's a Reflauza? Huh. Any sort of man made flowers and put a carry. Yeah, I don't uh, think I want to do that. Rosa Arcana. <laughs> I could just uh, stand by and use the use the experience points. I haven't used my experience for anything, so we don't need much of it. A rune of mana. I'm kind of curious. I mean, it would at least allow me to just AFK until I'm out of experience. I've never seen one of those. We're going to make one of those. That's going to be the first thing we make. So, let's go make a rune of mana. So that requires what? A bunch of mana diamonds? Or is it mana pearls? It's one mana pearl and like five of these guys. All right. All right, let's get some living rock. I have slabs. Okay. Oh, I should replace these uh, mana spreaders with Gaia mana spreaders. I mean, Elven mana spreaders. Okay, so two pink, two purple, and a green. Two pink, two purple. Wait, is that a green or a lime? That's a lime. All right. Two pink, two purple, lime, and one of those guys, and a seed. Not that seed, this seed. All right, there we go. So, I, I don't even know what we do, we just place it down. Look at that. this area of effect yeah not very far okay what I want to know is is it too fast yeah see this math better isn't doing good enough it's uh so let's make a faster mana spreader Let's make the Elven tier and maybe add, I don't know, something else? I don't know. This won't last too long, I'm going to run out of experience, but, uh, I mean, hey, I, uh, I wasn't using it for anything, so that's kind of cool. 
All right, let's make an Elven Mana Spreader. So to get one of these guys, we need six Dream Wood and an Elementium Ingot. Elementium is two Mana Steel. And then uh, Dream Wood is Living Wood. I'm just gonna make one of those for now. So let's go over to the portal. Toss these guys in. There we go. So now we need a petal. Any kind will do. I've made some dyes, so I'm a little bit lacking in some of the petal kinds. Oh, I don't even need a petal. I can just get it from there. Alright, so... I want to break that guy real quick. Okay. I'll break him. I'm gonna break all of our endo flames too. And probably this Solignolia, because I don't think I'm gonna use the setup anymore. Okay. So I want the Elven Mana Spreader. And I need to bind you back to the mana pool. And let's make a potency velocity lens. Okay. You are not in JEI synchronized mode. Alright, I need, need at least two of those guys. I've got a room of fire, good. Now can I make a velocity lens? Yeah, I can. Cool. All right. So potency, velocity, and a slime ball. There we go. Composite lens. Let's put that on there. And then we're just going to put the flower right here. And let's see how you're doing. Yeah. You are not filling up. Okay. Cool. So, um... That'll get us some more mana. I'm not sure how much we're going to get out of this, but we'll get some. Yeah, I don't know. So here's where we're at now. Uh, I'm going to AFK for a minute, and I will come back when it's done. And I've drained all the, my experience, and we'll see what we get. So, I mean, it's definitely climbing. Or I, I can watch it climb. So this is, this is huge compared to the Endo Flames. Now... I don't have a lot of other ways of getting experience, so, you know, there won't be a lot of that, but uh, at least we're going to have that. I don't need to AFK, do I? I'm just, we're going to be off already. All right, there we go. So, hmm. Well, this is not going to be a long-term solution, clearly. That didn't get us nearly as enough. We'll have to have, like, way more than that to, to do that. But that was a cool flower. All right, well, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I will see you next time.